Yo, what up, buddies? Welcome back. Beaker here, and today we're gonna watch some of these super trolly replays from the Dre Day account. Now, I showed you guys one of these recently. It was from this exact base. And it was hilarious, man. I enjoyed it so much that I've been checking in on this account more often. Normally, I don't even watch the replays on this account. I just kind of neglect it. I'm, I'm sad to say. But I'm going to start checking on this more often because this base is hilarious. I might even use this on my other account. I don't know. But let's check them out, guys. So the reason this base works so well, I think, is because I kind of trick people into attacking me for the Dark Elixir. I just sort of have the Dark Elixir on the edge of the core right there. And it's sort of saying, you know, come and get me. I'm right here. So people come, but they don't exactly get it. I mean, this is way harder than it looks. I didn't expect this base to be so good, but it has worked very well for me. So this guy, I mean, he's doing pretty well so far. He lured out some of the clan castle, not all of it. I don't know. I guess he thought something was better than nothing. And he's right. It is a, it is a good thing to lure at least some of the clan castle. So he's kind of got uh, not real high level troops. He has level six giants. That's a start. Level six giants are pretty beast, but the rest of his troops are level five. Let's see how he can do. So the reason I want people to attack this side of the base is because that's where all my traps are. And you kind of trick people into attacking this side because the town hall is here and the dark elixir is here. So there we go. The fun starts. <laughs> I have every single spring trap right here. So, so far that's nine giants sprung, right? Right? And then there, there's more fun. There's more fun to come. So let's go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. That was, uh, what? Three more giants sprung. So a total of, I think, 12 giants thrown off the map. And homie only had, what, 15, 16 giants, something like that. So we basically killed all of his tanking troops. Now what you gonna do? <laughs> what you gonna do now, Sandy boy? Okay, so he's coming in with his heroes. He's gonna spam spells. He's gonna just try to come back this is what everybody does they they get freaked out at this point and they spam everything they've got and it's too late at this point how are you going to kill all my clan castle how are you going to kill my queen and how are you going to avoid these teslas that are right here that's the secret that's the secret sauce right there is those max level seven teslas right there boom 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 just crazy powerful so say anybody get a couple of shots and he got nine almost a thousand dark not bad but he left uh, over 3,000 on the table. So, you know what? A lot of this was actually in the drills. And that's the best part. So, I never log on to this account. I log on like once a day. So, there's always a ton of loot. Ton of loot. There, there's almost always a ton in the drills and the mines and pumps too. So, when people go to attack me, they're like, Oh, I gotta have this. I've got to attack this. And they end up getting like nothing. <laughs> Look at all these. Look at all these. I mean, these people are going crazy. And they're not really getting that much. The only people that really get a good amount of loot from this base are people that take their time and they really just go for the drills. We'll, we'll look at that in a minute. But right here, we're starting off nice. Sprung a couple of hogs and giants there. But the main event is right there. <laughs> Boom! So homie didn't really bring that many. This guy, Rob. Rob, what's up, Rob? So he didn't really bring as many giants as the last guy. He's going to rely more on his bar troops and his heroes. But we can take care of that. We've got something for everybody here. And right here, see how good this section works? I have that cannon over on the side to drag all these giants over, and then they hit some traps. But Rob, Rob's getting real lucky. Rob is somehow missing a lot of the traps here. He's doing good. He's made it right in front of the dark. Wait, Rob, what happened? <laughs> I think the Tesla's ruined his day. I didn't really see what happened there. But, you know, once you get up in front there, even if you kill my queen, which he did. And even if you get your queen there, you got to act fast. Or you're not getting anything. Because those Teslas are just going to rain on you. And they did. So, Rob is going to get a little bit of gold. He got 90 dark. Rob, you got like one shot in. Good job, man. I, I love it. Better than nothing, I, I got to say. So, uh, this time, it looks like I didn't really have much in the drills. You know, like the last raid, I had a ton in the drills. But like I was saying, when I have full drills, it's almost more worth it to just go for them and avoid the storage entirely. So we're going to check that out in the next raid. What is Rob doing right here? You guys ever see this? People attack you, and then at the end of the raid, they just stare at your base like, Bye. I'm going to miss you. Like, what? What are you doing? See you, Rob. 
Bye bye. Thirty three percent. You got a little bit of loot. I mean, you know, that wasn't that bad. Uh, for three spells, I would have <laughs> personally would have hoped I got more for three spells, but uh, he can go home empty handed. I think the best part of this is it seems to make people kill their heroes and use all their spells. When they see the space, they're like, I gotta have this. And they kill their heroes, and like I said, use all their spells, and that's a win for me. <laughs> that's a win for me. So we've got Vincent here, our final contestant today, and he's going in with a pretty serious army. He only has two spells, heal spells, but he has a golem. That's gonna help a lot. It's gonna allow him to get in here and do the safe play of just taking the drills. It's a good, good idea, Vin. I'm telling you. As I was just telling you guys, going for the drills, it's just a better idea. I mean, the drills are a little farther out, and they are still well protected. But not quite as protected. They're still covered by uh, the queen, though. And those Teslas. Having the queen right in the middle here. Oh, look at that mortar. That mortar's in such a perfect spot, man. Look at that. Raining on you. Back to what I was saying. Look at where the queen is. She's right in the middle. So if she is awake, she's a great defense. But that's the problem. She's not always awake. So think about that, guys. When you're making a, a base like this, any base, make sure if you put your queen right in the center, sometimes she's not going to be awake. Sometimes the best spot on your base is going to be worthless if your queen is dead. That's what I'm trying to say <laughs> in a very long-winded sentence there. So on the last drill here, he went in with a hound. <laughs> I forgot to talk about that, but I thought that was hilarious. The dude had a hound, and I'm guessing it was to donate to somebody. I mean... You know, a golem would have been better, let's be honest. But I, I do that sometimes. I have weird troops like hounds, valks, witches that I'm not planning on using. I'm just going to donate them. But, you know, if you get in a tight spot, you're going to use it. So there we go. Vin killed it. Vin really killed it. Hats off to Vin. Good job, man. You played it safe and you got a ton of loot from me. You know, he had to use two spells. He had to use some serious troops. But, I mean, he didn't even use heroes. He just used a clan castle, a couple of spells. And he got great loot because he played it safe and went for the drills. Remember that, guys. Don't go crazy on... Let me back up. Here's my advice. Whenever I'm talking about Dark Elixir farming at Town Hall 9, don't bother going up against max bases. That's what I am here. I'm, I'm a max Town Hall 9 base with pretty good walls. There's easier bases out there. You know, that's what I always say in my Dark Elixir Time series. You guys can find easier bases, so don't bother with ones like this. I mean, unless they have 5,000 dark, okay? Maybe go for it then, but there's always easier bases. So don't kill your heroes, don't use three spells, and end up failing, you know? It's not worth it, but we do like this for the replays. We, we don't mind if other people do it, because it's pretty fun to watch. Anyways, guys, I sure enjoyed it. I hope you guys did too. Let me know what you think about this. If you like this kind of, it's almost turning into a series. If I get more replays like this, I'll probably show you guys because I really enjoy watching these. I only had a couple here, as you can see, but uh, we'll have more in the future. So let me know, guys. Anyways, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. Peace.